Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing an ASOS sustainable jean haul. Everything in this video that I'm wearing is sustainable, but we're concentrating on the jeans today. I will obviously link everything for you below so you can get whatever item that you like, but we're concentrating on the jeans. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to check out what ASOS have in their sustainable section for the jeans. So I've pulled together a few pieces, styled them up, and I'm gonna share it with you guys and hopefully give you a better idea of what there is sustainably out there for you. I also have a bonus piece at the end, so obviously stay tuned if you'd like to see that. I really feel that we need to be more conscious when we're shopping and support brands that are bringing us sustainable products so that more and more brands jump on and make their products sustainable and how they conduct themselves more sustainable. So, I'm gonna jump straight in. Quickly before I do, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and you don't miss anything. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first pair are from a brand called Monkai. This is the Kimono High Waist Mum Jeans with organic cotton in mid blue. I have to say they are such a nice jean color. It's actually exactly what I'm looking for. They are exclusives on the ASOS website and I paid about 40 pounds for them, which is not bad at all. I styled them up with this top, a pair of nude sandals and my bamboo clutch bag. And I, it's a really nice summer effortless look. Um, but I did find that they looked a little snug on me. I expected them to be a little looser, um, but they do look nice, they still look nice. I bought them in a size 28, which is fine, but I feel I should size up for around my legs, but then the only issue is that it's only gonna get bigger around the waist. And I've got a smaller waist and a bigger bottom, so it just doesn't work out. I could possibly tie the jean in when I'm wearing them or actually get them taken in, depending on how much I love them. I'm definitely gonna order the 29s and give them a whirl, um, but they're lovely jeans, I really love them. I think they'll look amazing on someone with a better waist to hip ratio. But for me, I'm gonna to have to buy the 29s and just see, I suppose. I will say though that because they are 100% organic cotton, there's absolutely no give in them, which is probably another reason I want to size up because they're a little bit restrictive. And mum jeans are supposed to be loose. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below, should I keep them, should I not? Should I size up? Let me know. But they are such a lovely, color and they feel lovely too so hopefully the 29 actually look good okay next up is a pair from asos's own brand it's their responsible edit so it's all recycled denim this is their asos design farley high waisted slim mum jeans in pretty bright mid wash with raw hem so these are more of a fitted jean it has a raw hem at the bottom which I really love and I really want a pair of jeans like this. What I love about these jeans is they are so high and they really fit snug around the waist. I've paired them up with a monkey tie top which I also got from ASOS. As you can see you tie in the middle and this is really nice material. It's very comfortable and it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down so I just paired that with these Farley jeans, but back to the jeans. I paid 32 pounds for them, which is very reasonable, I think. And I also got it in a 28, um, and this one's a 32 leg. So I personally feel that I could have got a 30 leg. I feel they were a tiny bit too long for me. I'm just on the beginning of the five foot six end and I prefer my jeans to just sit on my ankle. I think it's more flattering. And I feel the 32 leg was just a little bit too long. I feel they fitted me fine. There was a little bit of bagging on the back of the jean on my back, but that's quite normal for me. The only thing I will say is for slim and like fitted jeans, I feel like there is not enough give. There is 98% cotton and 2% elastane. So there is a little bit in there, but not enough. And when things are very fitted, you want to be able to bend in them and move around and I'm big on comfort when I'm wearing clothing. I can't have it. I can't be uncomfortable. It's just it's just not happening for me. But other than that, I actually really love them. 
I think I'm gonna order them in a shorter leg and I might try the size up just to see if I have more give in the jean. But I think they may be a keeper. Let me know what you guys think. They actually do so many of the Farle. I think it's Farle. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have so many styles of that one. So it's definitely worth jumping on and taking a look. And the top, like I mentioned, is from Monkey, and it is their Cena Organic Cotton Wrap Front Jersey Top in Black. And I paid £15 for that, which again, I think is very reasonable. It's nice and stretchy, it's very comfortable, it has good coverage, and most importantly, it's organic and sustainable. Okay, so the next pair is actually a pair I really like. A white pair of jeans. I think I'm always looking for white jeans. There's always something wrong with them, but most importantly, I don't like them to be see-through or to show any of the seams when I'm wearing them. I'm very particular when it comes to it, but these, I think I'm gonna keep them. This is ASOS Design, so it's their own brand, and it's their Hourglass Lift and Contour Skinny Jeans in Optic White. Now, I'm not buying them for the contour or the lifting or anything like that, but they are nice jeans. And they are actually in sale. They are 22.75 at the moment, down from 35 pounds. I got these in a 28.32. I think I'm gonna reorder and just get them in a 28.30. Again, just to shorten that leg slightly, but they fit perfectly. They have so much stretch in them, which of course I love and they are so comfortable and they are not see-through at all, at all. I can't see any seams. They are pure white, as you can see. I've paired it up with a Wolford bodysuit, nude bodysuit and a nude pair of heels from Bava and my bamboo clutch again. Um, but I just think they look so nice. You could dress these up, you could dress these down and they have good coverage. They don't show any unflattering parts of us that we don't want shown, which is why I was so impressed when I put these jeans on. The only thing, if I had to criticize, would be the whole contour and lifting thing that they have going on here. So you can see at the back, there are these two lines, can you see on the bum, that are there to do the lifting of your bottom. Um, I just feel like they're standing out a little bit too much. I don't know, you guys let me know. What do you think? Do they look nice? Shall I keep them? Um, does this bother you? But I feel like I could just let that go because they are so nice and so comfortable. I don't know, it's a hard one, but I definitely think that I will be keeping them. I've been desperate for a skinny pair of white comfortable jeans. Okay, so the next pair are another ASOS own brand pair, but these are petite. I didn't mean to get the petite, but I'm actually really impressed. I feel they fit so well. And because of the style, like the mum style, they suit being a little bit shorter on my leg. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, these are ASOS design petite recycled Farley. So it's the Farley style again, high waist, slim mum jeans in mid vintage wash. I got these in a 30 28 because obviously they're petite so I sized up a few um, and 28 on the leg. The only thing because I had to size up on the waist is that it is so gapy on the back. I tied them up. I usually do this with a lot of my trousers because it's quite hard to get well-fitting jeans especially like I mentioned before with a narrow waist and larger hips but I take a bit of string as you guys can see and I just loop it through the holes at the back and then I just tie it in and it doesn't really bother me too much I don't mind wearing the jeans like that or if I really love the jeans I would just get them tailored in to fit me um, but I do really love these I love the color um, I love the fit apart from the waist but 
Yeah, I, I would be happy to get these taken in because they are not expensive. These ones are 32 pounds as well, so I wouldn't mind to pay the extra for the tailoring. I've teamed these up again with this top. Um, a pair of my Barber sandals and my rattan shoulder bag, which I love. And I just think these are so effortless. They go with sandals, they go with trainers. I just think they're so nice. They're easy to throw on. They look good with anything, really. What do you guys think? Keep them? I don't know. I may just size down and maybe get a 29. Do they do them in a 29? They do do them in the 29, so I may size down just to see, but I do really love the fit around my legs. I just love how they look with the sandals, and yeah, I can imagine wearing these quite a lot over the summer. The last pair are from Weekday. This is a brand that I'm slowly starting to fall in love with. The fit of their clothes is actually amazing. Um, I was surprised by these. This is not a style or colour that I've ever worn or gone to pick up. The colour looks slightly different on the website, which is why I bought them. They're more of a darker blue, not so dark, but a bit more bluey like the rest of them. And you can see these are very, very light. But I actually really like the fit. Maybe the colour not so much, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the colour? I mean, I could try something different. It wasn't what I was looking for, but yeah, they've really impressed me. So this is their Meg Organic Cotton Mum Jeans in light blue. The fit of these are fantastic. You can see they fit me perfectly around the waist. I have got this in a 27, 26. So it's slightly smaller than the other ones, but it is a different brand. But what it allows is the tightness around the waist and then the looseness around the thighs, which gives the mum jean look in my eyes. So it really ticked all the boxes. I really don't know what to do. I think I just may order the same, exactly the same style and size, just in different colors. I actually paid 40 pounds for these. These are in sale. They were 50 pounds and they're now 40, which is so good, I think. Um, I've styled it up with just some white plimsolls and a white bodysuit with my shopping bag. It's the perfect jean to just go to the shops with or walk about in. They're so comfortable. You can sit in them, you can bend in them, you can do everything. They're not stretch at all, but like I mentioned, because they've allowed for so much space in the cut that there's no restriction whatsoever. And they are 100% organic cotton. Like I mentioned before, there is no give in them, but it doesn't matter at all because they're comfortable and they fit and the cut is just lovely. I was just looking actually through their website and I could see some other kind of trousers in the exact same style, in the Meg style. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to order. I actually think that I could go a bit mad buying the weekday stuff if I'm honest with you really impressed. I mentioned earlier that there was a bonus at the end. Um, while I was shopping around for the jeans, I came across these and because they were eco and I didn't have an eco pair of these, I thought I'd just throw them in the basket to see. And I'm actually impressed, they're not bad. They are just a pair of black leggings, but we all know how hard black leggings are to buy. And of course, we want them now to be sustainable. We don't just wanna be buying any leggings. These are from Princess Polly, and it's their eco, biodegradable and recyclable seamless leggings in black. So they are completely seamless. This is what the band looks like. And I'm, I'm impressed with the fit. They sit nicely on my waist. They are well fitted. They are super stretchy. They are a little bit see-through, but only slightly. And if you get them in the correct size, they shouldn't pull too much to show everything. So I got these in a small to medium. So I feel that they fit me well. And they were actually in sale too. They are now 16 pounds down from 20, which I think is a great price for what they are. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure about is they have a slight sheen to them like it's it's not it's not that big of a deal 
I can be a little bit fussy sometimes, but I mean, you can't really see it now. It's more when you're wearing them, but I always need leggings and I hate when leggings always get holes and I have to throw them in the bin. So I do want ones that are recyclable and sustainable so that they don't end up sitting in a pile of junk in a tip somewhere. And I've just teamed these up again with the Monkai tie front top. Um, but obviously leggings you can wear just with absolutely anything that you want as long as you're comfortable, hoodie, t-shirt, trainers, whatever you want. But they are guys so comfortable. They're literally like second skin. So I'm gonna be hanging on to these ones. And it looks like that's the end of the video. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope I inspired you uh, to shop more consciously and more sustainably and also introduced you to some brands that you may have not necessarily known. And now you can go and check them out yourself and see what they have to offer and ultimately do everything you can to protect our planet. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Let me know also what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I should keep. I love to hear from you guys. Your opinions matter. I love interacting with you, so make sure you do. And like I mentioned before, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so that you get the notification as soon as I post a new video. I post them weekly. And lastly, if you wanna keep up with me on a more regular basis, head over to my Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra, where I'm posting every day. And when pieces come in, I post them quickly because I'm excited and I wanna get them on. Um, but either way, I'll either see you over there or back here next week. And until then, guys, look after yourselves.